yeah heavy metal magazine that's what i would say welcome back to two brothers comics i'm dustin and today got a little bit of a comic book haul and i have a mail call that is taken months and months and months to get to me i had completely given up hope that this book was ever even gonna come i just wrote it off i was like you know what they're never sending the book i'm not getting it and I come home today and it was sitting on the front porch. Did hit the comic shop today. I got off work at a decent time and I walked in and I wasn't having a lot of luck. But then all of a sudden, the light shined down on me. The angel's trumpet started just going off and I found some really good deals on some awesome books. We're going to get into those right now. So let's jump into it. First off, this is the book that always is hot. Well, lately anyway. Uh, it's a book I've always been interested in because I like the character. It's really beat up, but, you know, it's still a copy of X-Men issue number four. First Omega Red. So, it's beat up, and, and I haven't rebagged or boarded any of these because I can't get my hands on bags and boards. They weren't at this shop either, so they're just going to, you're going to see them the way that I picked them up. Uh, next up, we got ASM 282. One of those 25th anniversary covers. This one features old Spidey hanging upside down. So that's a neat one there. Grab two of these. I've got a first print, but hey, when you see the facsimiles and you can grab a couple of those, grab a couple of those, man. They're, those always, always good to have in your back pocket. Picked up some Miles Morales stuff. So we got Ultimate Comics All-New Spider-Man issue 19. So you've got, I don't know, it looks like he's fighting Venom. A uh, little Miles Morales fighting Venom there, so uh, that's kind of neat. Another Miles Morales cover. This is Spider-Gwen, issue number 16, Sitting in a Tree, part 2. So, uh, nice little Miles and Gwen cover. thought that was pretty cool looking, so pick that up. Then we have uh, Spider Reactivated, or SPDR Reactivated. Um, I thought this was Spider-Zero, but I may be wrong. I don't know. But uh, Spider-Verse, issue number 3. Nice little Miles cover there. And then I thought this was a neat cover. We have all new Wolverine uh, issue 25, the Wolverine Legacy variant. So you got a little X-23 action going on there. And the gray suit with the jacket. And I thought since I'm picking that one up, I might as well grab all new Wolverine issue number one. Really, really, really clean copy of that book there. Uh, this possibly could be the deal of the day here, guys. Uh, I was could not believe this. For $5 only. $5 only. Uh, we picked up X-Men Adventures issue number one. New stand copy. And this is minty, man. It is super clean. It needs a press probably, but I mean, it's a pretty copy. Pretty copy. For five bucks, that's a winner all day. Five bucks. Uh, next up, you know, I don't like the series, but the series has gotten popular. And uh, so, Peacemaker issue number two. Grab that one for obvious reasons. Um, also, we have... Now, I did not like Peacemaker, but I did like this guy. We got Vigilante issue number one. Nice copy of this one, too. Really nice copy of Vigilante, issue number one. I actually did like that character. I thought he was very hilarious. Really enjoyed him. And I also got that first appearance of Vigilante, man. I couldn't believe I found this one there. So, uh, first appearance of Vigilante and Vigilante, issue number one. Uh, all those books, all those books are going to be up for sale, starting at just $1 on whatnot on the two brothers comics whatnot page i don't know exactly when i'll be doing my next sale when these will be on there but if you're following us on there and if you're following us on instagram you'll know you will know but all those books you just saw those are all going to be on there starting at one dollar on the whatnot usually do my sales on sunday somewhere between 10 and 11 and noon somewhere around in there on sundays guaranteed not every sunday just depends on my work schedule but make sure you're following us on whatnot links in the description below and if you're following us on instagram i usually post on there too uh just to let everybody know when i'm doing that next sale now these last two these are staying in the pc and after this i'm going to show you that that book that i've been waiting on since august that i ordered and that's a whole other ordeal do not leave stay right where you are 
So these two, I'm definitely keeping in the PC. This is a book right here that I saw someone show off either on The Hunt or one of the other shows I do. And I immediately was like, I got to have that book. Well, I've never seen it in the wild until today. Until today, George Perez, great artwork here on JLA versus Avengers issue number, what is this, seven, six? Oh, four. <laughs> issue number four. You got Soups holding Caps, Shield, and Milner. What? Is that not the craziest thing? I know everybody has seen this and probably has this already, but this is my first copy that I've seen in the wild, and I had to have this, man. Um, I wish I hadn't have sent in a book already, the press signing. This, this right here, I could not think of a book that I would rather have signed by Perez than this right here, because I love this cover. I mean, it is beautiful. I will be scouring eBay after that Perez signing to see if I can find a 9-8 copy of one of these uh, that he signed because that would be just too cool. And the last one, you guys know, I got to get my little turtles fixed. So we got Tales of TMNT issue number four with a really cool uh, John Beatty cover of Leonardo. So you had some Rick Remender in this series. You had John Beatty doing a lot of the art and a lot of the covers. So really cool. And like I said, they're not bagged and boarded really well. Haven't gotten any but cool little statue on the back. But yeah, man, this right here, I had to have that cover. Had to have that one, man. So nice little nice little uh, $2 bin score. Might have cost me three. I can't quite remember. But hope you guys enjoyed that little haul. Uh, I thought I picked up some pretty cool stuff there. And I'm excited to be able to throw those out in for a dollar. And hopefully, hopefully everybody's going to get some good deals on those. So we will see. On to this mail call. On to this mail call. Now you may have heard or seen me talking probably negatively about Heavy Metal Magazine over the past six months or so on our Instagram. Maybe even some here on our channel on Saturday nights. Uh, because there was a... There was a series that came out in august i believe maybe july called never never banging series absolutely awesome loved that series it's basically like an evil take on the peter pan tale it's fantastic fantastic extremely violent extremely adult it was great well i didn't know about it until issue two came out and then i was like well i gotta have issue one i gotta read this series <laughs> this is right up my alley i love this and uh, issue one was going for like $25 on eBay. And I was like, I don't want to. Someone said, well, Heavy Metal Magazine still has them for sale at cover price on their website. So I said, well, let me check there. And they did have them available still. So they said, I ordered a copy on August 11th, 2021. I got my confirmation number that your order has been submitted and confirmed. And for the last, uh, nah, let's see, August, September, October, November, December, January, six months, I've heard nothing but crickets. Nothing but crickets for six months. And then all of a sudden I come home today and look. Really? <laughs> a Walmart envelope sitting on the front porch from Heavy Metal Magazine, to my surprise, uh, I'm going to give them, right off the bat, an F for packaging. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. So let's open this up and see what's inside. I don't even... You know what I'm thinking? I'll tell you what I'm thinking. And I, I promise I have not opened this. It has not been opened at all. Still sealed. 100%. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and take a guess here. I'm going to take a guess that this is not the first printing. Because they came out with a second printing. Or was it a third printing? It was a second printing of number one. And uh, it featured, like, pin-up Bomber Girls artwork on the cover. I'm going to take a guess that that's what's in here and not the first print. That's just my guess. Uh, in which case, um, you know, my order was still not fulfilled. And I sent them multiple emails, uh, messaged them on Facebook, messaged them on Instagram, uh, got in the chat while they were live on Instagram and was ignored in every single one of those places along with hundreds of other people who were commenting on all their posts asking where their books were magazines that they had been ordered you know for months there was people on there saying that they were subscribed to magazines and hadn't gotten one in over a year and they weren't getting any 
anywhere like I was. I mean, they just ignore it. Like, it's no big deal. Screw you. We got your money. We don't need to send you anything. And Nick told me just to get the refund through PayPal thing. And I was like, you know what? I just want to see how this plays out. So we're about to find out how this played out. And honestly, even if the book is in here, the book I ordered, even if it is, oh my God, it's not even bagged and boarded. <sighs> Why are people so stupid? Heavy Metal Magazine, okay? I'm looking, I'm talking to you right now. Why are you guys so stupid? Like, this is the dumbest thing. You are literally a retailer, okay? You want people to buy your stuff. This is the best you can do. Six months and I don't even get a bag and board. Couldn't even get decent. Look, that's the only padding material that's in there. That's the that's, that's all that's protecting this book. Look at this. Not even trying. This is it. This is what we have to protect the book that's not even bagged and boarded. You guys suck, Heavy Metal Magazine. You suck. All right. Uh, back of the book is Beat to Death. We got spine ticks all over, uh, creases. Let's see. Is it the A cover? It is the A cover at least. Okay, so at least it is the book I ordered. But let's take a look and see how this cover is. Look at this, guys. Are you... Are you... Look at this destroyed book. I mean, that whole spine is beat to death. I don't even know what this sticky crap is all over it. And, uh, you know, you go on the back, it's not much better. You can already see right there. Big old dent. I mean... Like, would it... Would it just kill him to, to do things right there at Heavy Metal Magazine? Look at this. I mean, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, I got the book. But, uh... What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Heavy Metal Magazine! Uh, I do not... I do not... Uh encourage anyone to do any sort of business with heavy metal magazine and supporting them in any way possible at all um the bottom of it's kind of jacked you see right there like all that whitening in the where the page is flipped up right there that sucks too man but yeah like it's got this sticky crap all over this corner up here i don't know if you got if that's showing up real good there for you guys but it's like some kind of sticky goo all up there. That corner is just beat to death. You got spine ticks all up and down the bottom. <sighs> boy, oh boy. As much as I would love to tell you guys to go grab this uh, trade paperback from Heavy Metal Magazine, uh, I would not suggest you do that at all. Which sucks because, uh, you know, I would love to be able to tell you guys to go. I mean, honestly, I will say this. This was a great read. Support the support the artist, support the writer, uh, the people that worked on the book. Do not support these guys in any way possible, um, and and that sucks for the people that that have tied their names, you know, to heavy metal. These guys right here did a fantastic job. You guys right here, you guys did great. This is the name right here that I would not associate myself with in any way. Because their customer service is horrible. Well, they pretty much up not any customer service. Uh, they could care less how it gets to you at this point. So, uh, yeah. Heavy Metal Magazine. That's what I would say. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop me a comment. Let me know what your favorite part about this haul was today. What was your favorite book I picked up? And uh, let me know. Have you guys had any bad luck with Heavy Metal Magazine? Have you had any good luck with Heavy Metal Magazine? I'd just love to know if anybody else has had any kind of issues with these guys like this. Hit the thumbs up if you did enjoy the video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not. And as always, collect your way.